Hey, welcome. This is Sig with Fish Out Loud. I got a special unpacking party here, uh, but I got to first explain to you what's going on in this box and why this is something that you really need to take a serious look at. Okay. Um, 2022, we got the iCast in Orlando, Florida. My friend Tim Hendricks went there and he sent me a picture of this rinse off. And I said, oh my God, this is what I've been looking for. So I'm gonna do an unpacking party. I'm gonna take it out for the first time. I have not seen it yet. Um, it's a small company out of Arizona. I spoke with the owner, awesome guy. Uh, put a lot of time and thought behind this. So here we go. All right, here we go, taking it up. Comes boxed very nice. Um, it comes in multiple colors. I got the clear, okay? And so here's what I've been looking for. Now I've done a prototype and you're gonna see my prototype that I've done ever since um, I got my boat down here um, on the beach in Florida. And that was, that is to rinse off my trailer. Every time I drop that boat in to the water, the moment I pull that trailer out, I am rinsing it down with this prototype that I made. The problem with the prototype is, it's a prototype. I don't have the brains to do it. I just know how to catch big fish, okay? And so when my buddy Tim saw this at the ICAST 2022 in Orlando, he immediately sent this over to me and then within a short period of time, I called up to ask a little more questions about it. So this is called Rinse Off, all right? And it's it's designed for me, it's designed to wash off my trailer when I drop it in, because that trailer sometimes sits for eight, 10 hours when I'm out there fishing and rust takes hold of it, all right? Do I wash it when I get it home? Yes, I wash it actually three times. The moment I drop it in, pull it back out. When I get ready to leave, to go back home, I wash it off again. All right, and then I also um, rinse it off really good with the hose when I'm home. But this is four gallons. I'm going to take a look at this a little more closely and hopefully use it here tomorrow morning. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how this works and give you a rating of, is it a one or is it a 10? All right, here we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you what I've been using here and what I kind of rigged together here when I found out how important it is to wash your trailer down the moment you stick it in the water uh, when it comes to salt water. And I got off of eBay, bought a pump, a um, pretty heavy duty pump. On Craigslist, I found this tank. Um, it's an old industrial, they used to put soap in it, got it for 10 bucks. So I'm into this thing for about $170, okay? And um, what I do is I just take this, slide it in there, Take a strap, strap it down the best I can. Have it, has it come loose before? Yes, it has. All over the place, pumps hanging out, and I gotta put it back together. But I do like the pressure on it, okay? Um, let me have a battery, it's battery. There we go. And it's got some pretty good pressure on it, and I really like that, okay? And yeah, it takes me about five minutes to get it. Um, the trailer washed down pretty good. I, I, the hose gets kinked up. It's 20 foot. I wish it was a little longer. Okay, I wish it probably the hose was probably 24 foot. It just makes things easier. Uh, but my whole goal is to save a lot of money. All right. You know, when I went and saw my friend Eddie English trailer, and Eddie said, "Hey, listen, Sig, if you don't do nothing." and you drop that boat in the water and you let that, that salt water trailer sit in the parking lot for eight, 10, 12 hours, I'll see you in about two years. If not, even if you just wash it down with water, he says, I'll see you in about eight years. And I said, man, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, that helps that much. He goes, you have no idea. So um, I do use uh, desalter by Better Boat. Matter of fact, if you take a look out there, you'll see they got some awesome products on them and they're, and they're, you know, they're kind of environmentally friendly. Matter of fact, not kind of, they are environmentally friendly. So it just helps with the salt. Now, um, the rinse it, one of the things I want to say is they did not make this to have stuff added to it, okay? 
Um, when I spoke to the owner uh, and I, I looked for a lot of products out on the market and they just didn't fulfill the need that I wanted, okay? Uh, but when I spoke to the owner, uh, he says this was not designed to be have anything added, just fresh water, okay? Now, can you add something? That's up to you, I think, okay? But he wanted it for fresh water. It's for all types of uses. Um, and he does have plans on making this tank a little bit bigger. Now, I use eight gallons, okay? I use eight gallons. This holds four gallons. So it's, this holds 12. I use about eight. I, I, I just really, really um, put a lot of water on that trailer, okay, and try to get that salt off because, again, I don't want it to sit in the sun for all those hours. Now, four gallons, I use eight. I'll probably have another container, probably a five gallon container that if this goes empty, I can just put it in there and continue to use it. Now, um, this battery in here lasts for many, many uses. This one about uh, three or four uses, okay? Oh, um, the spray nozzle is the only thing, okay? If there's one thing that I, I just go, uh, I wish I had a little more oomph to it. Um, that, that would be the spray nozzle. And I'm going to show you here in a second, okay? But overall rating, I'm going to give this a 10, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you the spray nozzle, okay? And there's different adjustments. This, I only have really one. You just kind of adjust it the way you want to. But this comes with different adjustments. And it's already on. Just a little real little switch on the back side here. Actually tells you. And then it's on and off switch. I love that. I don't have to, anyway, unplug that thing. So um, I like... I like the center, okay. Now I'm gonna compare it to this one. Let me plug it in here. Okay, it just depends however you wanna do it. Now the shower doesn't come out that much, but again, all I'm trying to do is rinse the trailer down. So if I spend a couple extra minutes, okay, um, we don't, you know, I don't care. All right. What I like about this, I can take it, set it down, and get that back of that trailer really good. We're here. I'm kind of fighting it, especially when the boat's back on, and I want to wash down the engine and things like that. So, rinse it was originally designed for you know when you go on the beach, you know, rinse yourself down if you don't have a, a nearby shower, um, hiking, biking, you name it. There's so many different functions that this has. Okay, but my main concern is saving me literally thousands of dollars okay um and you know i was one time in eddie english trailer and i'll sh share with you this is a guy came in and he goes hey listen my trailer's alongside the highway i don't know how to get it in and eddie goes is the boat on it or is it not on it?" he goes well the boat's not on it okay how many axles is it and the guy goes there's three axles and he says well why don't you just tie one of the axles up and come in with the other two and i said to myself what if he had something like this and taken an extra few minutes he wouldn't have to spend time going and bringing his trailer to eddie english okay and saving thousands upon thousands of dollars so is the investment worth this yes now another thing too is you know if you know eddie english here on the panhandle of florida you know he's one of the straight up guys okay in this business and I asked him the question, would this hurt your business if I waited six years to bring it in um, for, for, you know, for various reasons because we live down here in saltwater? He says, no, you have no idea how many trailers there are here in the panhandle. So with that being said, I hope it is. hope this makes sense. I'm going to give it an overall 10. Spray nozzle, 8.59, okay, uh, with, with the expectations that they're going to improve this for us boaters here, especially in the saltwater trailers. Okay, I hope that helps. All right, guys, remember, you're always just one cast away.